Hey man, same man. How to pass your name in Muslim Booster and back with another Pangy. And today we got an educational video, sorta. Someone by the name of Dustier Gaming 4 commented on my last video. I started a YouTube channel and I was wondering what you use to show your face cam in the game at the same time. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing in this video today. I'm gonna show you three methods of how I use OBS Studios to record my face cam in my gameplay. And there's a fourth bonus one if you don't want to use OBS Studio, but these are my main, so I know those the best. And with that being said, let's get into method one. Big disclaimer before we start: if you want to use OBS Studios, you are going to need a PC or a laptop that can run it and then basically once you have acquired said pc or laptop you're going to want to go to google and you're just going to want to look up obs studio and then you're going to want to click the first link right here and then what you're going to want to do is you just want to click whatever one you use either windows mac or linux i already have it downloaded so i just don't want to re-download it again but once you have that downloaded let's get straight into method one all right guys so mike's going to sound a little different it's going to be no face cam for a little bit just because i'm using a different software to record this so i can show you how to actually use obs for method one we're going to show you how to record your pc games so obviously the first step what you're going to want to do is open up obs so now i don't know if this is going to happen to you guys but it might say once you try to open up obs do you want this device to make change or do you want this app to make changes to your device just hit yes it really does nothing it's nothing to worry about and then once you open up obs it'll look nothing like this so don't get scared if you see nothing you're supposed to see nothing but yeah once you have it open what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to scenes and you're going to want to hit plus and you can name it whatever you want i'm going to name it method one just so i can show you guys and this is what you should be stuck with literally nothing nothing else besides scene no sources no audio no nothing so what you're going to want to do you're going to want to go where it says sources and you're going to want to hit plus and now you have two options to capture your gameplay itself you can either do display capture which does what it says and captures any display so as of right now you know you can see this main display or it can show my other one if you have more than one and that's just you see me recording over there the audio so now the only difference between display capture and game capture is that game capture literally only shows up once you start running the actual game itself before then a little black screen that's nothing to worry about once you actually run the game it'll start running but for now i'm gonna stick to display capture just so y'all can see something and it just looks pretty to add your face cam what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to sources you're going to want to go to plus once you hit the plus you're going to want to hit video capture device name yours whatever you want i'm going to name mine webcam and bam as you can see it's showing up perfectly fine oh you're gonna, you can adjust your settings to however you want touch your resolution to whatever i like to do 1920 by 1080 just because it's like the most clear this is exactly how it looks you can go over here and you can change how it looks you can do whatever you want put it however wherever you want one thing i like to do though whenever i record also is go to configure video go to the control and just zoom in a little bit so i don't have like the biggest wide angle and then you can adjust settings to however you like you know exposure drop it down some this is what i typically do although it looks really weird now so i'm gonna just bump it keep it up to five and you can go and change all your settings to however you like if you really want to let's say you want to flip it so you can have like your face over here instead of more lean to the right you can right click on webcam and then you can go to transform and then you go to flip horizontal so now you bam now it's over here all right so now let's say you have your webcam set up and let's say you just want to crop it so because you don't like how it looks and whatever what you can do is you can click on your webcam and make sure you have it selected when you see the red border around it and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the alt key on your keyboard and hold it down while you drag the box to however you like the green means that it's being cropped and then once you like it to however you like you just let go and now you can go back and change the sizing to whatever you want and now you can put it up here over here whatever and now you're basically ready to go you can just fit it here whatever game you have here so now you have your face cam and gameplay together this is the basic setup for typical streamers basically you know when they have their face cam and then they're like gamer whatever that's how they have it the only con is which is a big con for some people and not really for others depending on if you're just streaming or just making baby content whatever Whatever, is that you can't edit your face cam to however you like so wherever you have your face cam in that video that's just how it's going to be so now with method two i'm going to show you how you can make your face cam and your gameplay both recorded but with your face cam you can put a border get bigger make it smaller and you just have more editing power and freedom with your choice so let's get into method two all right so if you're wondering whether it fits different i already recorded this part but the audio got pooed on so now i gotta remake it yeah man so this is method two aka face cam freedom and again this will record your face cam and your pc games at the same time let's just get straight into it. You're gonna want to go to scenes, gonna want to make a new one, and we're gonna want to call that method two or whatever you want to call it. If this is your first one or whatever, whatever, you can do however you want. Let's say this is the one you want, this is what you gotta do. So now, once you have your blank screen here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your settings and then you're gonna click on video. And now, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make your base canvas double the 1920. So you're gonna make it 3840x1080. Then you're gonna do the same thing over here 3840x1080. And then you're gonna go down here, click apply, and then hit OK. And now you're gonna see this really stretched out bar thing. And don't get scared, that's what's supposed to happen. So now, all you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat basically what you did in step one with some tweaks here and there. So we're gonna go to sources, click on plus, and then again, your choice, game capture, display capture. And another cool thing that OBS 
Mobius does is it saves your sources. With this one, you can pick which monitor you want it to be, whether it be your second monitor, or if you only have one monitor, it could be just your main monitor. I didn't notice this at first, but you can see if it captures your cursor or not. I think it's kind of cool if it does. We're going to click OK, and boom, as you can see, that it is on half of the screen. That's exactly what we want it to do. So next, what you're going to do is you're going to add your face cam. Go back to sources, video capture device, and I'm going to add my existing face cam just because I'm going to just save me some time so I don't have a bunch of other stuff. So now what you're going to do, this is where it gets crazy. You're going to go over here and you're going to just drag this. So now you're like, what the fuck is this? This doesn't make any sense. You're going to have one over here and one over here. Now that's exactly what you need to do. And now this next part, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to record whatever gameplay, whatever footage you guys want to record, you're just going to record it normally. And I'll show you what to do after you're done recording. You guys are probably thinking, oh, what the heck is this screen right here? I've never seen this before. And that's because this is DaVinci Resolve, aka a free editing software that's super wavy. I'd highly recommend using it. And then that probably leads you to, oh, why are we in an editing software? And my answer is because this is where face cam freedom becomes huge. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start a new project on any of your editing software that you use. And you're going to want to drag in the clip that you have that you made your gameplay whatever you want so here's mine i just made a quick 10 second clip and then you're just going to want to drag it onto your timeline i'm not really explaining davinci resolve because this isn't a davinci tutorial it's just a face cam tutorial <laughs> so don't worry about it so then what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to add another video track and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to duplicate your first track onto there and you're like why this doesn't make any sense what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to crop your gameplay and face cam separate i don't know how others editing software is work but for davinci you just go to the right side there's a whole cropping section you just click on crop right by 960 and then for the one above it you're going to crop the left by 960 so then hopefully if i did that right i uh, this should be my gameplay or whatever i had perfect so then what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to rotate it into its spot but bam and now you have your webcam free to do whatever you want left or right you can go up and down now you have face cam freedom to do whatever you want so whenever you're editing, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can go left and right, you can crop some more off your left if you want. So this is face cam freedom, aka method two. Hopefully this helps a lot of y'all out. When I first found this out, I went brazy with it. I was super gassed. But yeah, man, now let's get on to method three. Now, before we get into method three, there is two things I want to point out before we actually get into it is that with method two, I'm not sure how streaming works because I know with method one, if you did display capture, that's just how it works. Your stream sees whatever you see. And that was like the easy way to get it done. I don't know how method two works with streaming. You might have to watch another video. And the second thing is that the reason this works is because you doubled out the amount of pixels you have. You have two 19, 20 by 1080 side by side. Basically, that's how this works. That you can crop out and you still have a pretty good picture for your face cam in your gameplay. If you cared about the specs and how that works, that's how it is. But now let's get into method three where I show you guys how you can record your face cam in your gameplay for a console. So yeah. Look, man, the file got corrupted, so I gotta redo this. I took a shower. We'll just forget it. Method 3, man, this is basically how you're gonna be able to record your face cam with your console, and it's still gonna work out perfect. Let's just get into it. The one thing I will say that is different between the PC and your console is that you do need a gaming capture card to record your actual console itself. Elgato makes one that's very popular that everyone uses, but you can also find like a cheaper alternative on Amazon for like 20 bucks. The first thing you're gonna wanna obviously do is turn on your console. There it is. You already know how we rocking. While we wait for the console to turn on and like the game capture card to register, let's just start up our scene. So what you're gonna wanna do, new scene, this one shall be method trace. It's gonna be blank. And you're basically gonna do the same thing you did for method two with method three with of course a little tweaking here and there. You gotta go to source, go to sources, click on plus, and then you're gonna wanna go to video capture device. And then you can name this anything. I'm gonna just name it game because that's what it is. And obviously it's gonna detect your webcam first, but that's not what you want. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to device and then go to your capture card itself. This might take two seconds just to load up because your capture card has to like, you know, process everything, whatever, whatever. Just give it a little time and then it should pop up here very soon. Hey yo, what? That looks weird, but it's just COD, promise. See, there it is. But what you're gonna wanna do now is you're just gonna wanna go to default device resolution. And then I like to just make mine the highest it can be. So 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS, cause my Xbox, actually it might go higher. 120, I think. None of these other you really have to mess with either so then you can just hit okay and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add your source and go back and add your webcam bam so then here it is and then obviously you're going to just drag that over and one thing i do want to say is that there is a little delay when you go play on your console from your capture card as you'll see right here i'm going to go right what the fats i'm gonna go right and then left then right 
and then left and you get the idea basically there is a little delay uh, i don't know how to fix it in obs itself you could try to put like a delay on your actual webcam but i just find the easiest way to do that is you just go into your editing software and like have like a sync point so you can go right left right left and then as you know you sync it up with your webcam then you just go on playing normally and it should work out in the end so with this way i set it up for you guys it would be the same thing as your face cam freedom but if you want to do it the normal way like the typical streamer one one screen way all you gotta do is just go back to method one and change your display capture to a video capture and then put your or Elgato or whatever capture card you have as the main display thing. Yeah, man, those are the three ways that I know how to capture your face cam and your gameplay, no matter whether you're on PC or console through OBS. And now let me just go back to method four and let's just get this video out the way. <laughs> Alright guys, so now the last bonus tip I have on how to record your face cam with your game actually does not require a PC or OBS at all. In fact, it only requires PS4. Unfortunately, you can't do it on Xbox, or at least not with the research I've done. You need like a PlayStation because this uses the Share Factory app. But basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up your camera, which will be, I don't know, your phone or like another camera you have, and use that for your face cam and just record yourself there. And then I believe on PlayStation, you can start recording your gameplay by like double tapping one of the d-pad buttons and you're going to want to record your gameplay while you record your face cam all both at the same time and then what you have to do is you have to go into the share factory application and then you can import your videos and then you can edit it there i don't know the whole shebang of it uh there i'll leave a youtube video down below that explains it really well if you guys found this video informational helpful at all man please give it a like you know don't forget to subscribe you know road to 1k type b type thing and with that being said i'll be back on the games probably in the next video and with that being said i'll catch y'all in the next one peace